Hello, welcome to this mini video, where I will just do some little adjustments. First in the animatronic class, we can rename this function to setup model. Next, I want to make AI controllers set in the database instead of manually doing it in the world view port. So we can use a set AI controller node for this. Now to add it to the data table, we first need to add it to the structure we made. In here we can add a new variable called AI controller, and the type has to be AI controller class type. The purple one. Compile and save, then go to your animatronic database and you should have a new section to add the AI controller you added. Now to set it, we have to go back to the animatronic and just connect the AI controller to the set. Now it should update automatically and to check, just go to any of your animatronics and see the AI they have. Now our next problem is in the AI controller. The animatronics rotate in a jerky way, so they look like they are floating, or in camera they face the wrong way. This is because after the set actor location node. We need to set actor rotation back to 0, 0,0,0 or maybe randomize the Z float only. Same thing for the find look at rotation, when they are at the door, we just need to change the Z value. Another thing you could do is use target points and their rotation to determine which way the animatronic should look at it. To know which way, you can add an arrow component. This way, you can now use get animatronics target point, get the current target points actor rotation Z value for when you set the animatronics rotation earlier. While I won't do this myself in this video. I will however, rotate these target points to face the right way, so Foxy needs to face the curtain while the other target points need to face the player's direction. The ones at the door needs to face to the player too. One other problem that I had was the animatronics collision. After, I do Foxy, it will make more sense but when Bonnie stands here, the Foxy AI tries to run here but collides. I will just disable the collision of the capsule for now but I will need to do a check for if Bonnie is here, then Foxy can't run. But for now, we can disable the specific parts of the capsule. Turn the collision to custom then you want to either ignore or overlap the pawn only, if you want sure ignore world dynamic. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this part, consider subscribing and see you next time.